Terrence Crawford rematch push back says Steven Espinoza. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So the rematch between Terrence Bud, Bud Crawford, and Earl the Truth Spence Jr. apparently has hit another snag and may have been pushed back. Steven Espinosa recently gave an interview, had a lot to say. He was at the Canelo Charlo press conference and he broke the news to the public. I just wanted to give my uh, 5,000 nickels on what was said and break it down for anybody listening. So there's still negotiation. And Terrence Crawford said that he was still waiting on being notified of the weight class. That tells you that it's Terrence Crawford waiting for information. And that is what uh, Steven Espinosa said. It's probably not going to happen this year. It'll probably be in 2024. All right, y'all. So what was basically said? by Steven Espinosa. He said that things are moving slowly, basically. <laughs> that both sides have not come to agreements. And if you remember the interview that Terrence Crawford gave about a week ago, about a week ago, he said that there was supposed to be a letter that had to be in writing, sent out by either side either the Crawford side or the Spence side, stating that they can no longer make the weight of 147 pounds. Well, no, but you put your foot in that cabbage. Mmm. Why you looking at me like that? Why did you got all that food on that plate like that, bro? I'm making you the motherfucking goddamn beef. Wait a minute, wait a minute, don't you pull your damn foot off here? Mama, here? I gotta put eat. You, you gotta, uh, uh, put, your, put your own picture back. Oh, Lord Jesus. And Terrence Crawford made it seem like that that deadline had elapsed but according to steven espinoza they are apparently waiting for something he didn't say exactly what it was he didn't say exactly which side was waiting for what but he said that they were waiting for something and you would have to think maybe it's that that they hadn't hit the deadline yet for him to put that paperwork in or perhaps that there was more time that could be elapsed in between you know the fight and that paperwork going in now nobody's confirmed that and as a matter of fact Terrence Crawford never actually gave a specific date to when that paperwork had to be turned in he just said that one side had to put in writing that they could no longer make the weight well the contract states that either one or the other got to notify you know in writing that he no longer can make the weight if not then the fight will be at 47 so uh the contract set states that it have to go at 47 since neither one neither i or arrow notify each other stating that we can not make the weight anymore now we do know that that was a 30 day you know we don't know exactly how many days it was whether it was 30 business days or 30 days exactly that the rematch clause had to be enacted on because if you count the days after when it was officially announced that the rematch clause had been activated it was more than 30 days so perhaps some of these timelines are a little bit skewed and perhaps Terrence Crawford read something or his team read something but there was other stuff that they missed in the reading of the contract i don't know but apparently there is something going on steven espinosa didn't say that the negotiations have completely fell apart but he said that they've hit a snag and they're waiting for something didn't say exactly what that something is but i can only speculate that it has to have something to do with the weight because that was what earl spence was pushing for he didn't seem to have a problem with Terrence Crawford getting the bigger split or picking the gloves or the referees or the venue. He seemed to have a real problem with it not being at 154 and it possibly taking place 
at 147. Did Terrence Crawford say that or somebody from his team said that? And oftentimes what you see in, in the sport is that people speak and yeah. don't really have all the information. Now, he never said that he wouldn't accept the fight at 147 either. So, you know, I'm really actually kind of super confused at this point because nobody's confirming what the F is going on. So it's, it's almost like the fight is just stalled out. Now, to me, if you ask me, I actually think that, like I said before, it's a situation of BOMAC. They're waiting to see what's going on with BOMAC before they make an official announcement. And if they have to push it out, you know, another month or another few weeks, I don't think that that's bad, just so they can know what's going on with BOMAC. But I do hate the fact that it's being delayed, whether it's delayed into 2023, a month or not really doesn't change the whole dynamic of the fight. I think both guys can still give a great performance, but I do think if the weight isn't what Earl Spence wants, then he would be giving up again to where he gave up a lot in the first fight, so why give up even more in the second fight? And if it's a situation of the Bomac and them waiting for Bomac, then we just have to wait until October the 1st or October the 9th you know i heard two different dates i've heard it could be possibly october the 1st that he's getting arraigned i've heard it could be possibly october the 9th that he's getting arraigned i'm not sure which one it is but either way that could be a possibility of what is delaying everything now is that good for us spence is it bad for us spence i think any time that he can put in between the fight actually happening and him getting better prepared is good for him and I think that if he can get the weight that he wants, the 154 fight, it bodes well for him. But if he has to take it at 147, I think as long as there's extra time given to lose the weight properly, he can still win that fight. This process has taken a long time between the two of these guys to make this fight. This is what I think about it. Congratulations to Errol Spence Jr. If you want to have a successful negotiation with Terrence Crawford for a rematch, and by successful I mean where you think that you're getting the things that you want, you're going to have to neutralize Terrence Crawford's technique, which is to delay. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. That like button for me. Share, share, share. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, but you're more than likely to get a response on the tube so holla at me over there if you want to collabo feature a product or your channel on my channel feel free to hit my gmail because it is a flop of cards at gmail.com and we are man now first off i don't drink homemade booze nope. i don't leave home without my shoes i don't go to parties and barns don't get it confused my cousin's not my boo now that's nasty they think our wigs all patched and nappy. Everybody's black and ashy, just so you never have to ask me. It's not what you think. If you think we're not dropping knots at the bank, uh. now that's dumber than running the cops with a shank. Uh. You thinking I'm running and hopping in lakes. Possum and snake over lobster and steak. Niggas look at me like I got to be fake. Cause my clock operates with a watch in a face. Equipped with alarm so I don't need a rooster. Nigga, it's the future. Let me introduce ya. What you ain't used to. True fun. So what? What you Niggas will Now I ain't never milked a cow, but I will get bread from a heifer. I'm ahead on my schedule, getting bread on that level. Y'all niggas is two faced. I slow a niggas hustle down, leave you screw face. Now who plays that track? Sauce one, back at it again, back slapping your friends. Uh, Crack balance and gin, back sliding in sin. Yeah. Max gotta attend to what that hustle brings in. Biggest problem on my streets by far. Nigga, get you for your ride, might leave it on fire. Get your speakers wise, even your ties. You can think I'm bullshitting, you'll believe it tomorrow. When you in your driveway, not seeing your car. Uh, he pulled off when you were sound asleep. And you can keep your love Bentley, cause them grounds is cheap. Two twelves in the back, cruise down the street. Uh, so we ain't that country. We ain't that country. We ain't that country. We ain't that country. So what? What's your country?
Ain't that country? So what? What you think? Now I just had to get that off my chest Thanks for listening It's the Derby dog. Thanks for visiting A lot of dudes rap But they ain't equivalent To the dude that's cool With the lakes in Michigan I leave a nigga wetter than a shark's tail Victory Park, Iroquois, the Clarksdale Niggas living like Avon Barksdale I'm wild when I drive So I can't park well And this ain't for the nappy roots Just the one to see they video And think that's how we actually do the 502, uh, Lewis Keys and I'm through.